Hello there, this is the new Harrison 32 Classic Channel Strip plugin. Let's start on this guitar. At the top of the plugin, we got an input and an output section. We can use a gate, a compressor, and an equalizer. And at the bottom of the plugin, we can change the routing. I will adjust the equalizer first. Let's boost this guitar at around 3 kHz. Use a bell filter. We can activate or deactivate each section here. Let's get rid of some mid frequencies at around 1.5 kHz. Let's set the low pass filter at around 10 kHz and the high pass filter at around 100 Hz. For the low band, we can also either use a shelf or a bell filter. So let's adjust the compressor. Let's set a lower ratio here. We can adjust the threshold here. And here it indicates the amount of compression. Attack time at 20 milliseconds is okay. Release time it could be a bit faster, but it sounds good in this case. Let's increase the gain. We can change the mode from level to comp to limit. There's no use for a gate here, so I won't adjust it now. We can also uh, use a phase switch and we can adjust the drive. I think I will do this. Okay. Just a bit. We can also deactivate the drive section, this is nice. Let's give it a try on this bass track. I will start with adjusting the compressor. Maybe I will change the routing and set the compressor after the equalizer. And after this, the gate. So let's start adjusting the compression. I will use a 5 to 1 ratio. Medium attack time, fast release time. Um, what I mentioned is that we doesn't have um, the possibility to use parallel compression here. Um, so I won't compress the space track too much. Increase again. Maybe around 4 decibel. This should be enough. Okay, that's great. We can also reset the sections here. I won't do this because I'm happy with my settings. Let's activate emphasis. louder now. Okay, so let's adjust the equalizer. I will apply a high shelf at around 3 kHz to boost the high frequencies of this bass. This way it will be able to cut through the mix. 
get rid of some muddiness at around 400Hz and at around 200Hz. Uh, that's interesting, it's, it says 200Hz here, but it goes down to 104Hz. It goes up to 4.37kHz, not to 3.1, and down to 104Hz. No high pass, but a low pass at around 10 kilohertz. Deactivate EQ. Activate EQ. It sounds rounder now. Let's turn in some more drive. Okay, that's great. So, let's activate the gate. Okay, I like it this way. Alright, so let's take a look what they write about it. The sound of Legends. The 32 classic channel strip plugin by Harrison Audio is a fully featured channel strip complete with 4 band parametric EQ, high pass and low pass filter, transformer saturation with drive control, compressor and gate expander. Everything you need to make music with the classic Harrison sound. Emulating the Harrison 32 Classic Mixing Console, the 32 Classic Channel Strip plugin delivers the sound and workflow that generations of artists and engineers have trusted to help craft their sound. The 32 Series console helped create some of the most influential music ever made, and now with the 32 Classic Channel Strip plugin you can access the sound and workflow in your DAW. Emulates the Harrison 32 Classic Analog Mixing Console, legendary ultra-wide Harrison HP and LP filters. Drive control for dialing in warm harmonic saturation based on the Jensen GTMB CPCA transformer couple mic pre. Fully featured compressor with three compression types, comp, level and limit modes. Versatile classic 4-band parametric EQ with proportional EQ. Fully featured gate expander for taming live tracks or adding more dynamic articulation. The full featured compressor provides all the control you would expect in a standalone unit with three types of compression, comp, level, limit and a sidechain filter with sweepable frequency and listen function. The emphasis knob allows you to access more vintage character by forcing the compressor to react more quickly to louder sounds resulting in smoother results. Well there's also a really detailed manual here, you can open it by click on documentation. Let's give it a try on drums. I will start with adjusting the compressor. Slow attack, fast release time. It's a little bit sad that we don't have a mix knob here. Um, it would be great to use some parallel compression. Let's adjust the equalizer. Increase the high end at around 8 kHz. And the midband at around 3 kHz. Reduce the midband at around 400 Hz. Let's make a boost at around 50 Hz to increase the low end of the kick drum. I won't use a gate because I think it's not needed at this track. I will increase the drive to hear how it affects the drums. Let's listen to the EQ separately and to the compressor.
I think it's uh, delivering a great sound now. Harrison 32 Classic Channel Strip is an excellent plugin that offers great sound and high functionality. The only downside is that the compressor doesn't offer a mix knob, but I hope that this will be added in a future update. Alright, that's it for the video, I hope you enjoyed watching and if you liked it, maybe you wanna give me a thumbs up or even subscribe to my channel, that would be really nice, so maybe we'll see you next time, have a nice day, bye bye.